We are back. We are back. We are back. And we talking all things business, all things DMV right here on the OGs of the DMV show, a.k.a. the DMV Sports 3. And as we say, let's get it. EK glasses, champion of starter coats, ballets and gold ropes, polka dot shirts, backpacks, Nikes and Van Grax, MCM come again. The fact that I'm in the booth now. Hip hop alive and well throughout the underground. Remember to let us into your skin. <laughs> and we'll begin to master rhyme and rhyme and rhyme and Hey yo kids, remember when I used to be dope? Yeah. Hey yo kids, hey yo kids. Remember when I used to be dope? Yeah. Hey yo kids. Hey yo kids. Hey, yo, kids. Remember when I used to be dope? Yeah. Hey yo kids. Hi. Hi. The outtakes sometimes are better than the show. <laughs> hey, the outtakes, the outtakes are on Tiki 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 I understand you can find us on Tiki Tiki and I don't even have an account. Ain't that something <laughs> beautiful day for the OGs here as we learning to navigate ourselves in this universe. But the universe is a strange one. As conversations around me and rumors that Mr. John Wall himself possibly can be a wizard again. Could he do it? Should he do it? Do you want him to do it, fellas? Let's talk John Wall. This is coming from DC Hoopla. Shout out at DC Hoopla on Twitter. Actually, I apologize, DC Hoopla liked it, but it was Wiz Takes from Wizards Mafia. So go to at Wizards Mafia. This was his question, the potential of a wall reunion. What would that look like? What would that look like right now? Uh, an older injured guy that plays 10 games and then he's hurt for the rest of the season. <laughs> That's wow, what's going wow. on. Wow, for real now? That's how you feel? And hopefully, we're not paying that what forty five million dollar contract for the last his last year of his his last he's year. He's gonna no. They're saying he's gonna take a homie discount. He's gonna take a homie discount, man. That's what I'm hearing, man. He just wants to come home. He wants to come home, huh? Yeah, man. This is John Wall. We talk about. He never was never not a wizard, man. He was playing in and they say he's playing in Houston. They was mad because you could see bullets gear on. I mean, <laughs> well, I mean, I just. I mean, yeah, we can bring him back. I just don't want to pay him that last year of his deal. I mean, we had a, a balloon payment his last two years. Houston's playing one of them. He has one more to go. And we got to find a way to divert that money. I'd rather give it to Bill or give it to that number one pick, that lottery pick we about to get. Ding, ding. I'd rather give it to that. Kispert. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit better than Kisper, man. Lottery pick. I said lottery pick. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, if, if Wall wants to do a discount to come back to D.C., hey, we need a point guard, you know. And he realizes that he is what he is, an older guy that got a good solid 10 minutes a game to 15 minutes a game. I'm cool with that. I don't hope he don't think he's the old wall, but he's just pounding up, pounding the rock real hard. You know what I'm saying? Driving to the rack and all that. Because he's not that anymore. That's just not who he is now. So the rumor is, man, they're saying that he is that guy. They, 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 they're saying that he could have been on the Lakers if the Lakers wanted him with all the geriatrics. But Deacon, how do you feel about it, man? Bringing the old guy back, an OG with a discount. I'm with Big Al. And listen, we need a point guard. He's obviously a point guard. Uh, obviously would be the best point guard on our team at this point, even at his extended age. Uh, he has, like, he, I guarantee you, he thinks he's the old one, especially if he comes back to D.C. But a man that couldn't be traded with the same contract for the same dude for a second time <laughs> should tell him something. The Lakers didn't want him. They, 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 and, and Westbrook was stacking it up. 
I mean, it's it's, 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 no, I don't know where he dropped off big time. Yeah. But Wall wasn't that bad. You talking about DSW? I'm talking about DSW. DSW, but he um hey, uh, he's busy, man. Those those, those uh, runway nights, man, they, they get to. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah, we talking about Wall on the Wall side. He, he should have felt like he should have been traded for that dude if they were willing to take it. But yeah, like I said, if he comes in and and he plays, you know, to his potential of. 10, 15, 20 minutes a game, maybe half the game, then we might have something. But that contract, no, you can't, I can't take on that contract. So no matter how good he is, that contract, we don't have the money for him anyway. So what is Abigail? Lottery pick. Lottery. <laughs> so right here, man, let's round it off, man. I, I think that it would be great. And I agree with you guys, you know, honestly, the money talk, man, the money talk, it would be great. And I agree with you guys, you know, honestly, the money talks, man. And unfortunately, as much of a, uh, you know, uh, I want to say traditional guy that I can be, I would love to see the two come back together again. I've seen, you know, crazier things happen. I think that's what Bill missed, honestly. I think we'll probably see a better playing Bill when Wall came back, in my opinion. But how that miracle will work. But if anybody can work a miracle, if anybody can figure it out, it's our oh, guy in the office. Mr. Shepard will make it happen. The GOAT of the NBA general managers, Tommy M. F. Shepard. This mother At the end of the day, it looks beautiful, but it looks like a dream. And you know, I used to word up magazine. I mean, it's just a dream. Anyway, I'm going to stick with Mr. Wiz Takes at Wizards Mafia. Make sure you check it out on Twitter. Wizards Mafia asks, so what's up with Rui's minute restriction, man? Why can't we get the man to get on the court, stay on the court, man, and play, man? Mr. Rui, man, he gets on there, he uplifts the team, and then he sits us behind back down. What's going on, Deacon? What's going on? I, I don't know. Maybe he's in there. Maybe he's low key got a, a, a swole knee every now and then. I can't. I don't understand myself. Other than, like we were saying before uh, the trade deadline, maybe they playing the other guy, Mister. Uh, uh, I'm not gonna say. Y'all love him. I don't. But maybe Tom 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 I'm not saying his name. I just said you know. Oh man! Oh yeah, Danny. Okay, so let me ask you this. Who's the more consistent player? Rui. Okay, who's the better three-point shooter? Who's the better who? Three-point shooter. Rui. Who's the better post player? Rui. <laughs> so what are we talking about? He We're should talk be defense. He should be more We're talking team. defense. We're talking garbage man he gets in there he gets dirty Rui don't do that Rui don't do that and who I don't dirty? huh who gets dirty Denny. Denny. Denny gets down and dirty Deacon man don't you, well, you hate what you gotta do I need y'all to watch replays of the game don't just watch the game when, it, when it's on don't watch the game when don't it's on don't forget it. when you can stop and <laughs> rewind when you can stop okay, and Deacon. rewind okay when you can stop and watch the game, rewind, figure this thing out. This dude, he gets killed by everybody. He has a good couple plays every now and then. He does oh. not get killed by everybody. He gets killed. He's. I'm LeBron sorry. Killed LeBron, LeBron killed him. LeBron killed him. Okay. Okay. Everybody else kills him too, man. He's who? Who had? Who hasn't LeBron killed? LeBron killed him. KD killed him. Jesus! Oh. I don't get why y'all like that. But anyway, I, I think we should get more minutes than Yeshua Luke. killed him. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> everybody. I get it. It's, these are these are phenomenal superstars, of course. <laughs> but we try to talk about them. He doesn't get killed by everybody. Yes, he yeah. gets the. Now let me ask you a question. Why does he get the draw to check them? And the, that's the thing that you got to understand because he's the best on our team. No, because he's stars. supposed to be the best. 
doesn't mean he's a dog. I thought KC was the D and three guy. Rui, Rui ain't checking nobody. Who'd you say? I thought KCP was supposed to be the three and D guy. Who? KC. What? KCP? Yeah. The one that yeah. stands four sevens? Stop. Huh? <laughs> Oh man, he's supposed to be three D. So that that's what I'm <laughs> I, don't, I don't I don't really hey, look look look. I don't know, I don't know what I, I don't know what y'all think. We can't answer the question. Rui really should be getting more minutes. There's no doubt about that. Rui yes, no, absolutely. Minutes. There's no doubt about that. And maybe they are positioning Denny to maybe get another draft pick or move some pieces around. Because I I I often front office guy likes to move pieces. But what hurt me so much is I was watching the NBA last night and the dude from Dallas. An old point guard balled out and hit the game winner. Winner, second night in the row, big guy. Night, I mean, he's balling out, and I per I purposely think that he held sabotage, back. sabotage. He, he held back on us, man. Sabotage he playing that good for us, man. This dude did not want to play for the Wizards. He sabotaged. He took that money from us. He should give his money back. He should, cause he was not. He he turned into the old guy that we when we signed and from from Jersey all of a sudden. So that's what I see in the situation. I think that they're trying to move Denny to somewhere, trying to get something for Denny. They're trying to make him something. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to make him something because I don't think Denny is a better player than Rui. I don't. Matter of fact, I think next year they're talking about the Wizards going to Japan and playing some exhibition games for five games. In J Japan, and Rui's gonna be the featured guy. He's gonna be the host. You know what I'm saying? He's he's better than Denny. Man. That's just that's just believing. I agree. I'm not saying that, but you got to stop throwing larceny out on the guy. <laughs> larceny. You keep Denny, throwing larceny out on the guy. He reached his ceiling. This is what he is. He's not gonna get no better. The dude's only you 20 years old. Hey, Deacon, you cannot say that. He's huh? only 20 years old. The man is nobody's getting better than. Yeah, but he's playing. Come on now, he was in it was uh, Israel, right? Yeah, he played in Israel for it as a four years, right? This is he's 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 That's a different he's game, Deacon. That's a different game. The pros Deacon. over there, them dudes, they play with grown men over there. He was sixteen, Deacon, when he played. He playing with grown men. He was a big boy, you know. He was sixteen, a tall kid playing with them. He's still growing into himself. Hey, listen, hey, hey, if y'all want to keep him on the team, I'll keep him on the team. <laughs> Deacon, it's not that we want to keep him on the team. It's not that we want to get rid of him. It's what it is you throwing larceny on Denny. You just have a difference of opinions, okay? Just, just difference of opinions. Every time I watch him, I say, God, duh. get lit up. <laughs> and then he makes one play and start to put the X up. Hey, hey man, Kispert been playing. He's locking somebody down. And hey, you got to celebrate when it happens, man. Yeah. Kisper's been playing better though. Kisper's been playing a little better. Kisper has been playing better. He's 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 had a couple of good games from the three point range. Yeah, he did. So, wait a minute. Look at look how look how he changed now. Look how he's oh yeah. He he's getting better. A couple from the three point range. He got he, he made two extra of his three. What the what? That ain't nothing digging. And he damn sure ain't playing no defense. That's a fact. I don't watch that Bama. Ole a, many a Bama into this red paint. Like, Ole. Absolutely right. The problem is we didn't expect him to be a defensive player. We expected no, him to no, be no. three. We don't expect him to be a defensive player, but here's that, and I'm glad you said that. Maybe this goes into what we need to talk about right now is that I have a question for you, brothers. Do you think Wes lost the locker room, man? Mr. Defensive-minded situation as our defense improved like overnight and then vanished. What happened? I listened to an interview this morning from Wes. And uh, the, they were interviewing him on uh, one of the radio shows. And uh, he was down. <laughs> and he admitted that, you know, he sounded defeated on the radio like he was defeated like you know well you know the game happened last night they got blown out at home so he was down you know what i'm saying yeah. and you know and the fact that i think they scored like 120 points or something like that it was some crazy number they yeah, scored it, was, it, wasn't, even, it wasn't even close you know the game oh, wasn't right. even close and we were all everybody on the team was all i don't think anybody played defense at all yeah. and uh you know and he he sounded defeated like he wanted to pack it in and start all over again next year. So that's what he's gonna have to do. This year is done. 
we got what 12 games to go or something like that we, you know we're going to pull this lottery machine and hope we get those balls pop up for the top three pick that's all we gotta do that's all we can do man yep. can. if nothing's going to change we have what we have hopefully i mean i at this point, I don't know why they wouldn't bring up Isaiah Todd and Cassius Winston. Yes, I don't think we got. Let's see yeah. what we got. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Make a decision on these guys, man. Yeah, you know, I, I, I agree, agree with you. Let's get Isaiah in there. We, we're hoping that Isaiah becomes something. Cassius is okay, you know, as a emergency point guard, but he's small too, you know. Wow. So I, I think I think that's that's our main focus in the draft, man. We need one of these nice guards, right? If he if he is small, he's got to be nice, you know. I want I want I want a guy who can shoot, get his own shot. That's the main thing. We, Let's see. Our guys, I mean, the Wolfman is, is aggressive and he plays hard, but you know he reminds me of Taylor Heine. Same thing. Yeah, but we're not doing anything with that. You know what I mean? We're not we're not really with that. Yeah. So we need we need to change up our. What's attitude. the other point guard we got with the man with the tricky handle that can play good for five minutes? What's the other point? Oh, yeah. Is she? Is she tight for five minutes? Huh? Is she tight for five minutes? You know, y'all, 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 y'all some hard dudes. He good for five minutes. After that, man, he he cook, he barbecue chicken. After that, he is barbecue chicken. You know what Ish is? Ish Ish is good on a team where he's a change of pace. Right now, he's the same as as, as the Wolfman. Yeah, nothing changes when he comes in. You know what I'm saying? So that five minutes that he's in there, that ten minutes he's in there, is the same as the starter that comes in. These guys are the same dude. We need, we need somebody. We just need a better point guard. It's just all it's, I know is, man. And you, we get, got you, get, you get which back. We we lost twenty five points to thirty points with Bill gone, and you see what happens. Everybody's like, oh, we don't need Bill. We don't. He's shy still. Now you see what goes on when he's not dead. We can yeah. points, points. points so, matter. We need that. Yeah. And so with that being said, brothers, man, you know what? Maybe it is time to go ahead and let's get the young blood out there. Let's see what's going on. This year, at the end of the day, if I was to say anything, and we were to talk all things Wizards, the only positive, not the only positive, but the, the biggest positive is the fact that we have a man in the office that can get us what we need. And that guy is Shepard. Thank you, Shepard. This mother f The season that you could do, though, that you don't coach or touch the floor. <laughs> you did at least put some pieces down there that we just couldn't bring together. That's sad. So with that being said, folks. That's sad. It is. It's a little sad. We got... That's, that's I, I, how many, so we're going to end it off with this number at the end of the day. With the last couple of games we got, how many games do the Wizards get before it's all over? Can we get any more wins? A couple of wins? Can we win out? I just want them to stop losing by 20. Can we get that? So you're basically saying they're going to lose, but just not by 20. I'm hoping. Hey. I, can, I can ask for more than that. Compete. I, I don't even you care. You compete, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, compete. my personal we, opinion, We man, need the extra ping pong balls. Yeah, that's, what, that's just how I feel, too. We need the more, the more we lose, the more ping pong balls we get. And there it is. There it is. The OGs have basically said it because you know what? At this point, there's no reason for us to do anything else. We're tanking. It is time to sink the chip. We're tanking. We're putting everybody in. I think that uh, Wes has called to see if we can get out there, goof around, you know what I'm saying? One night contract. I definitely would do it for a good parking space in those nachos. I would do it. And Lou, at least I'll punch somebody in the stomach when they go down the middle. <laughs> yeah, I, can, you know? I can hack somebody real good. Yeah, okay, Deacon, hey, look, Deacon getting the first tech, uh, <laughs> Alex getting thrown out, <laughs> and I'm going to get injured. <laughs> all in five minutes. Hey, that's all we got right now, man. What you hear is what we got to do because it's still all things D and It ain't nothing good but some good music, some good eats, and some good fun. Wizards, we still love you. Shout out to everybody who watched the show. Like and subscribe. If this is something new, please share our content because somebody else like you might like us too. They're going to remember the night they played the Titans.